So now we will discuss the classical theories of internal structure of cities. We have already done the basic um, parts of the internal structure of cities. So now we will see how different um, scholars have uh, given their ideas about um, the internal structure of cities. So the first one is the concentric zone model. It's given by uh, E.W. Burgess, while the second one is Hoyt's sector model. This was given by, by Homer Hoyt. And the third one is the multiple nuclei model. And this was given by, jointly it was given by Harris and Ullman. So let's discuss what these theories are. First, it's uh, the concentric zone theory. So it was given by Ernest W. Burgess. So that's why it's also called as the Burgess concentric model or Burgess's theory. So according to this model, Burgess proposed that a typical city grows in five concentric zones. Concentric the center like the zones share the same center that is the um, city center the cvd or the central commercial district so around that cvd a city grows in concentric circles in concentric zones and what those zones are for, like what are the activities and what are the land uses in that zone. So let's see uh, here, the first one, the first zone is the CBD, the central business district. And we have already discussed that this, this is the district where uh, main commercial activities are done and uh, where main uh, I have added okay so main activities of a city which has a uh, like the important commercial activities or the main money making hub of a city is the central business district. And uh, again, if you remember, there were two parts, the core and the frame of the CBD. So that's the CBD, the central business district. And the second zone is the zone of transition. Third one is the residential zone. Uh, which is of a lower class category and then the yeah, a middle class category residential zone and the last one is the upper class residential zone or it can also be called as the commuters zone um, because this is the zone where people have to commute you know travel longer distance that's why it's also called as commuters zone so uh, we have, um, I've right, right now I've explained you um, the CBD, now the zone of transition. What is the zone of transition? So this is the zone which is considered as <clears throat> the area where there is mixed residential and commercial use and there are um, transportation hubs kind of thing. Uh, and then uh, this part, the transition zone, it might have some abandoned uh, buildings as well. Like we can see some abandoned, abandoned buildings in our southern area as well. So that's the transition zone. Yani is zone mein cheeze, main activities hai, commercial. Uh, I mean, residential, commercial, say residential, when transition is in a transition uh, zone, characters of both the 
زونز آر فاؤنڈ تو اس میں کمرشل بھی آپ کو ملے گا اس کے بعد جو دوسرا آپ کا ریزیڈینشیل ہے تو اس کا اس کے کیریکٹرز بھی اس میں ملیں گے اینڈ اٹ مائٹ ہیو پیٹی شاپس اینڈ لائٹ مینوفیکچرنگ چھوٹی موٹی کمرشیل ایکٹیویٹیز اور دیر کین بی سم لو کیٹیگری ریزیڈینشیل ایریا مزدور طبقہ جو ہے وہ آپ کو زون آف ٹرانزیشن کے اندر مل سکتا ہے اور اس کے بعد تھرڈ زون ہے زون آف یا دا ریزیڈینشیل زون دیٹ از دی تھرڈ ون ایئر اس زون کو ڈفرینٹ ماڈلس کے اندر لائک ان ڈفرینٹ ایکسپلینیشنز اور ڈائیگرامس پیپل ہیو گیون ڈفرینٹ نیمس بٹ مین کانسیپٹ اس کا سیم ہی ہے سو اس کو ورکنگ کلاس زون کا نام دیا گیا ہے جب کہ یہاں پر اٹس لوور کلاس سو لوور کلاس از ایکچولی دا ورکنگ کلاس لائک بلو کالر پیپل ریڈ کالر پیپل مزدور لوگ سو ان دا زون تھری دا لیبرز فیکٹری ورکرز دیئر ریزیڈینشیل ایریا از فاؤنڈ اینڈ دیر کین بی بگ بلڈنگ ٹو کیٹر انڈیپینڈنٹ مین لائک دا پیپل ہو آر کمنگ فرام ڈفرینٹ پارٹس آف دا کنٹری فار ارننگ اسپیشلی دا میلس ان دا فیملی دے لیو دیئر فیملیز بہائنڈ ان دیئر ولیجز اور ٹاؤنس اینڈ دے کم ٹو اے سٹی ٹو ورک سو ان دیٹ ورکنگ کلاس زون دوز کائنڈ آف پیپل آر آلسو لیونگ سو بیکاز دا ورکنگ کلاس اور دس ورکنگ کیٹیگری دا لیبر کیٹیگری دے کین ناٹ ٹریول دے کین ناٹ اسپینڈ اے لاٹ آن ٹریولنگ سو دیٹ از دا ریزن دے آر فاؤنڈ ان ٹرانزیشن ایز ویل ایز دا ورکنگ کلاس زون دا انر سٹی دین دا تھرڈ دین فورتھ زون از دا ریزیڈینشیل زون اس کو اس امیج کے اندر ایکچوئل ریزیڈینشیل زون کہا گیا ہے جب کہ ان ادر ورڈنگس اٹ از دا مڈل کلاس ریزیڈینشیل زون ہر شہر کے اندر سب سے بڑی کیٹیگری جو ہوتی ہے وہ مڈل کلاس کیٹیگری ہوتی ہے سو دے آر فاؤنڈ ان دا زون فور اٹس سلائٹلی بیٹر ریزیڈینشیل ایریاز اینڈ یا دیر آر یو نو ہاؤزز لائک سنگل فیملی ٹینامنٹس مینس پلاٹس مکان بنگلے جن کو ہم کہتے ہیں تو چھوٹے سائز کے آپ کو یہاں پر چھوٹے سے بڑے سائز کے یعنی ٹو ہنڈریڈ یارڈس فور ہنڈریڈ یارڈس جس کو کیٹیگری اے کیٹیگری بی یعنی جو ایڈریسز میں ہوتا ہے نا اے بی سی سو دیز آر دا ہاؤزز فاؤنڈ ان دا ریزیڈینشیل زون اور وی کین سی ان دا لو in the middle class residential zones. This was zone number four and then zone five is the commuter zone. I've just told, uh, told you that it's the commuter zone, the people who commute longer distance to reach the CBD. And this is the upper class residential area here. Yeah, but Amir Logo, okay, but a girl, farmhouses and yeah, the, the area is quite well planned. تو دوز آر فاؤنڈ ان دس پارٹ اور یہ کمپیوٹر زون سٹی کے پیریفری پہ ہوتا ہے پیریفری مینس دا اینڈ دا آؤٹر دا آؤٹر پارٹ سو ان دا کمپیوٹر زون دیر آر لائک ہاؤزنگ اسکیمس لائک بہریا ٹاؤن اینڈ ڈی ایچ اے سٹی کراچی اینڈ دین سیون دیر آر مینی ادرس in the outskirts of Karachi on, on multiple sides. One super highway wali side, one national highway wali side. And then the other side of the side, where Kimari is, is our side of the development. So, if there is a high income uh, category, then it is a commuter zone. But in this time, in the commuter zone, ke andar, uh, those uh, class of society is also investing who 
earn who save their money to buy a house to ab modern times ke andar thoda isme change aa raha hai so this model was uh, given by burgess he was an american and while giving this theory he uh, took example of american cities and then yeah he was inspired from his own city and then he developed this usne bahut se american shaharon ko observe kiya tha usme usko ye pattern common nazar aaya tha so that was the concentric zone theory and there had been uh, multiple criticisms aa rahe koi bhi theory di jati hai usme criticism lazmi uh, usme like people criticize so they were um, the people the main criticism to concentric zone theory was that uh, in reality it, these zones are not concentric these zones might have uh different um areas or different extent so that was the concentric zone theory and then we have the hoyts sector model it was given by homer hoyt and uh, yeah he was an economist so he gave another sector model as you can see here according to him a city grows or the commercial the activities the land use of a city is not in the form of exactly cons- perfect concentric circles but in the form of sectors different sectors of the city grow grow in different directions so these are the sectors uh, defined by homer hoyt sector a the central business district sector b the zone of transition as explained in the central place theory and then we have but if you see the zone of transition b uh, it's in in a semi circle it's not spread across uh, around the whole cbd it's on one side of the cbd and then growing with of with the other side of the cbd it's zone c which is the lower class residential area between the lower class residential area and the core there is this purple region which is the industry or ye different directions mein expand ho rahi hai it's like flanking on both sides so this is uh, the industry which is growing in that direction and then the middle class residence is spreading in a very fair part of the city um yeah so that's uh, homer hoyt's sector hypothesis and although homer hoyt didn't give the concentric circle model but still his model has the cbd in the center and all the other areas are all the other activities or land uses are around that uh, cbd and then uh, the transportation services will be radiating from the center to the periphery andar se bahar ki taraf transportation uh, movement hogi so this was homer hoyt or ye jo um, zone of transition hai residential hai we have just explained it in the concentric theory concentric zone theory then the next one is a multiple nuclei model it was given by harris and ulman so given by Chauncey D. Harris and Edward L. Ullman. Again, American uh, geographers and they studied American cities to give their multiple nuclei model, according to which they said that 
a city has multiple nuclei it does not have one cbd agar aap hoyts hoyt ka model dekhe to hoyt ke model pe bhi center mein cbd hai burgess ka model dekhe to burgess ne bhi center mein cbd rakha tha but these two people they have said that a city can have multiple nuclei in fact a city has multiple nuclei around around which multiple nuclei ek nucleus yani kuch main activity usme hogi these nuclei are kind of minor cbds choti choti cbds hain jo shahar mein spread out hoti hain and then around that nucleus the city grows in different directions in different parts of the city so that is the multiple nuclei model i'm back i had to go for due to sort sort out some some emergent disturbing kids so those were some of the uh, multiple nuclei and this is the arrangement of the different activities given when they presented their their model so the cbd is there and then uh we have wholesale and light manufacturing the pink region the third one is low class residential the fourth one is medium class residential and again you can see medium class residential her model ke andar badi space par hai kyunki ye shehar ka sabse zyada sabse zyada population shehar ki is uh, part ne gheri uh, hui hoti hai we can see and then we have uh, high class residential here or is in mein bhi high class residential बाहर की तरफ यानी आउटस्कर्ट्स सिटी के आउटस्कर्ट्स पर है एंड देन वी हैव रेजिडेंशियल सबर्ब देन सिक्स्थ वन इज हाई क्लास मैन्युफैक्चरिंग देयर वो सिटी के एज पर है एंड हैवी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वेयर इज हैवी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग देन आउटलाइंग बिजनेस डिस्ट्रिक्ट is here towards the periphery this is residential suburb and this one is industrial suburb so shahar ke mukhtalif hisson pe mukhtalif nucleus bane hain two ke andar apna ek nucleus hoga fir ye seven ek alag nucleus hai so that's how different nuclei are identified and then these nucleus grow to become like to make the city even bigger or ye model zyada accepted tha kyunki cities have this type of uh, different types of nuclei like hum agar karachi mein dekhe to karachi uh, has multiple nuclei agar ek nucleus hamare paas सदर में है तो दूसरा न्यूक्लियस नॉर्थ कराची में फिर तीसरा न्यूक्लियस हमारा नेशनल हाईवे वाली साइड पर सो वी हैव मल्टीपल न्यूक्लियर उसके साथ ही अगर हम के यू को भी देख लें तो वो भी एक न्यूक्लियस है और उसके अराउंड ग्रोथ हुई है सो दैट्स द मल्टीपल न्यूक्लियाए मॉडल 